right, so the last time you saw me, I was really frustrated, but you know what? Ooh, it's a different day. The chairs in my kitchen, we're gonna, I'm heading right now to a hardware store to rent a carpet cleaner. So hopefully I can clean those giant chairs taking up space in my kitchen. And also get a coffee because, I mean, are you really surprised? I don't know, I gotta move the bookshelf and the piano again because that did not work out last time. Also, if you're a person who's like, you know, you could do all these things if you didn't buy a coffee every day and just made it at home. Yeah, I know, and you know what? Maybe I want a coffee every day, so yeah. Hi, can I help you? Hi, could I get the uh, uh, peppermint, uh, medium iced peppermint mocha? Yeah, I peppermint mocha, and it's yours. Uh, can I get that with almond milk? Okay, peppermint mocha and the almond milk. And it's yours? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like my glasses? Suit. So today, we're cleaning these chairs instead of letting them rot in the basement, which I think is the fiscally responsible thing to do. And instead of hiring someone to come and clean it, I've decided to give it a go myself by renting this thing. I've never used that before. I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm actually a little scared that this is just gonna like explode and spray everywhere. When we had the cats, they one of them had an incident on that couch. There's another stain. And then the thing that I put in here is a multi-purpose color saver from the company Bissell. This is also Bissell. This thing is also Bissell. The big green cleaning machine. The only way to find out is just to do it. All right, here goes nothing. So loud. Do this outside or bring a towel. This is a bit of a learning curve. I'm gonna pull this away from the bookshelf because things were getting a little moist. And my cleaning chairs are cleaning up a murder. what was on the chairs. Well, that was a fun experience, I guess. I'm bringing the, the vacuum thing back now because then I won't have to pay for having it for 48 hours. Five hours of cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. I also cleaned another couch. I cleaned those white chairs three times and I cleaned another couch 
a red couch once. Uh, you saw how much dirt was in those things. So I've resurrected the white chairs. They are saved. And yeah, I'm gonna bring the thing back now, grab some dinner on the way home. And then I have to figure out what the frig I'm gonna do with the rest of the stuff in my apartment because right now it's a disaster. It's a disaster area. Perhaps I should listen to fewer records. Okay, here's where I am with some things. The piano is now by the window. The tree is now in the corner. If you ignore the records and picture a carpet here, this is almost like a cute little seating area. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep that. There was a bookshelf here. Um, I turned it on its side and I put it in here. This couch was in the bedroom. The bedroom needs some help though. It, it now looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's pathetic. It's still a frickin' mess, but we're starting to get some things, starting to get some things moving. Now that these chairs are completely dry, look how good they, they're like brand spanking new. I put my knee on this one, so I ruined it a little bit, but they look so good. These couches are gonna switch positions, but first I need to get rid of that bookcase. That is another story all on its own. It's really easy to not do the mundane tasks that you already do in general. Like we're not moving in, we live here. So there's like everyday maintenance that we need to be taken care of. And also like this new rearranging kind of thing that we're trying to do here. So to be continued.